Technology and toys, it could be hit or miss, but at New York Toy Fair, we're here to see the trends and how technology is changing playtime. I'm Bridget Carey, let's break it down. Go. Go, go, go. There's nothing quite like Toy Fair. More than a thousand toy companies from around the world come to the Javits Convention Center in New York City, flaunting the latest figurines and fluff that they hope the kiddos will beg their parents to buy. And to stand out in the crowd, these toys often try to weave in some new tech tricks. This is my seventh year covering Toy Fair and my second while pregnant. So you could say that I'm hungry to find a tech toy that will really enrich a child's play, time, and imagination. Let's flash back to 2012. Back then, companies were trying to turn an iPhone or iPad into a toy. Just add an app or attach a tablet. It didn't really work. Parents wanted less screen time. And soon came the privacy and data collection worries. Because when you have to blend the digital and physical, you got to find the right balance. Now companies are taking another approach. They are squeezing in new sensors and incorporating things like augmented reality special effects, revealing a new world if kids just hold up their phone or tablet. And in the case of PyBots, that means using AR tricks to make learning fun. PyBots teaches young kids how to snap together their own robot and program it through the challenges presented in an augmented reality world. Animations are appearing around their blocky creation. But not everything requires an app. Toymaker Themes and Cosmos teaches kids how to build their own robots, like the Tumbling Hedgehog Pet. 3Doodler creates kid-safe 3D printing pens, so you can melt plastic into any shape, even build your own robot creature for tabletop battles. But some of the best robots just do cool tricks you can show off to your friends, and multiple sensors make it a more realistic best friend. This is Juno, and I'm getting elephant kisses. Ooh. Ooh. Spin Master has quite a few robot pets, but I was taken aback by one in particular, the flying owl named Owlies. You have to nurture this little guy to teach him how to fly. It needs you to play and cuddle before it's ready to transform into a little drone and take off. The more you nurture, the longer it will fly. But that's not the only way tech toys are defying gravity. Why race on the ground when you can race on a wall? Airhog's Zero Gravity Laser uses air suction to drive on walls or even go upside down. It follows the path of the laser gun. Sometimes the tech of the past comes back in new ways. Speak and Spell is back, along with several retro toys and games. Even Etch-A-Sketch got a new twist. You can doodle in color, but you still got to shake to erase. Of course, every year people go nuts for retro video games. If you love Pac-Man, you can now take it on the go with Micro Arcade. This is a Pac-Man game that fits in your wallet. It's so itty bitty. The Micro Arcades will also feature Tetris and some classic Atari titles, or you can play Pac-Man at home and hang it on your wall. Arcade 1UP has come up with new designs for their build-it-yourself classic arcade systems, including a new wall unit you can hang or take a seat at one of their new tabletop machines. ColecoVision even makes a comeback with miniature games. There's a new Rainbow Bright game. Well, the company invented it to really tug on those nostalgic heartstrings. But behind the robots and the flashy video screens, another trend began to emerge as I walked the show floor. There was a different kind of tech influencing toys. It was an influence of our social media and YouTube culture. Snap stars are fashion dolls that are also social media stars. They come with their own green screen. These smartphone toting fashionistas are marketed as online influencers making hit YouTube videos and sharing their adventures on Instagram. Doing it for the gram, yeah. The reach of YouTube was everywhere. YouTube stars had their faces plastered across boxes of various toys or the toys themselves have tools to prop up your phone so you can easily share videos of your playtime online. Some famous video game players on Twitch even had their own action figures. Fortnite Master Ninja has his own toy line, so now you can snuggle up at night with his blue hair. 
With a new series of collectibles, the Twitch streamer Ninja shot to fame playing the Battle Royale game Fortnite. And as it turns out, Fortnite is a powerful force in the toy world because there's another trend that followed me everywhere I turned. Llamas. Llamas everywhere. You see, in Fortnite, a loot-filled llama is a big feature of the game. So toy makers are putting llamas in everything. Seriously, you could even wear llama jewelry pets or have a dance party with a booty-shaking llama. It's another llama. No, I'm not a llama. I'm an alpaca. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Llama tell you, the influence of online gamer culture is nothing to spit at. Toy makers have to tackle a new puzzle for this next generation. Today's 10 year olds have lived in a world where the iPad and YouTube existed their whole lives. You can't ignore their expectations for wanting tech as entertainment, but there's something magical in how toys are finding ways to just lightly touch the digital world and still just, well, be toys. Well, you know, Emmett, clearly not every tech toy is awesome, but it is clear the industry is getting much more creative in how they're approaching the problem. So cheers to that.